the, the Ronnie Coleman Classic in May of 2012 was actually the first time I competed, and I competed in bikini. Um, I don't know how I did that. I, I didn't really do it, but <laughs> then um, two weeks later, I competed in my first figure show. I just basically told my coach at the time that that is not for me. I felt completely uncomfortable, so let's do this, you know, two weeks later. And it was really just to see, um, let's get a critique from the judges and see what we need to build on before you really hit it hard with figure. Um, and that was, like I said, it was two weeks later, so it was like the end of May of 2012. And I won the show, and then I won overall. And so it was such a small show, but winning overall qualified me for nationals. And so at the time, we had a lot of teammates going to USA's um, in July of 2012, and I was like, yeah, I'll go, why not? And um, not even really knowing anything about the sport, or I don't want to say not really taking it seriously, but I just had no idea what I was getting myself into. And I got fifth at USA's in 2012. And at that point, I didn't really realize what that meant, but so many people told me, like, you got fifth place at a national show, like, that's kind of a big deal. And, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And so I took a little bit of time off, and um, October rolled around, and I was like, you know what, I think I'm gonna try and shoot for nationals, you know, in November. Um, and so I turned around, and we got ready for nationals, and I, I actually was in transitioning between coaches, and um, went out there to Miami, and won my class and turned pro. So four shows later, three figure shows, and I was a pro. So it wasn't really, a lot of people ask me how long, you know, did it take you to turn pro and all this and that. And sometimes I'm a little embarrassed to say because it, it should take longer than that. You know, it, it doesn't always happen that way for everybody. And I feel like, you know, I really, I'm, um, I was in the right place at the right time, and I'm, I'm just blessed to have done it when I did. And so, not not the typical uh, pro status story, but that's how it happened. Hey. <laughs> Played basketball throughout high school, but uh, really latched onto track um, towards the end of high school. Uh, got a scholarship for it to run in college. So track became like my first love, it was like a love-hate relationship. And now um, I think it really kind of prepared me for what I do now, so. I remember even in middle school, my coach is saying, hey, like show us your six pack, you know? And I was just like, oh, okay. And I would always get offended when you know, the boys would say, oh, girls aren't supposed to have muscles or girls don't have muscles because I've literally always had muscles. So um, genetics has played a huge role. It's given me a great foundation to be able to do what I do. And I feel like I'm extremely lucky and blessed to, to have such great genetics. <laughs> It's like I'm still busting my butt in the gym, you know, I'm still doing all the cardio that everybody else is doing. I still have to, to follow my diet to the T, you know, so it's not so much that I feel a lot of pressure because of my genetics. I think I feel more so like, okay, I can't rely on my genetics, you know. I've been super nervous for it leading up to like this whole prep, even even doing Omaha Pro a couple weeks ago was like in preparation for Dallas Europa. Um, you know, it's in my hometown, so it's kind of a big deal. You know, I feel like there's some work to be done. Um, even placing third last year, I felt like, you know, third place is like, yes, you know, that's great. But at the same time, I felt like my body wasn't a third place body. So in a way, I kind of want to redeem myself. Maybe other people didn't think that, but that's how I looked at it. So um, I'm very excited to step on stage at home and for all my friends and family to, to come out and support me. And so, yeah, this is, this is kind of a big deal for me. Since, since nationals, this is probably the biggest show.